There are several ways to calculate the dispersion about a given value, but we will stick to two main types of dispersions, which are the mean deviation and the standard deviation. Mean deviation is taking the mean of deviations about a central tendency. Let x1, x2, so on until xn be n data points in a distribution and k be its central tendency. The central tendency could be mean, median or mod. The deviation about the central tendency will now be x1 minus k, x2 minus k, so on until xn minus k. These values can be positive or negative. And when we add these together, they might cancel out with each other. If we can see carefully, this makes it even harder for us to know about the deviations. Because in this case, if the sum comes out to zero, it will make it look as if all points are at the central tendency, instead of saying that they are symmetric about the central tendency. This is why we take modulus of deviations about the central tendency. So you can see sum of deviations will be summation modulus of xi minus k. Therefore, the mean deviation will be given by summation xi minus k modulus divided by n. For discrete frequency distributions, the expression will be given by summation fi modulus of xi minus k divided by summation fi. While for a continuous frequency distribution, the expression will work out to summation fi modulus of xi minus k divided by summation fi, where xi is the midpoint of the ith class. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's the learning app today.